So what we've got here, I call the Coltrane Unchained. It's a single block, and what happens is that everything is impeccably timed. All that these guys are doing is accelerating. You can see that their breaking distance passes through the other trains. Because it's a single block, they're all able to accelerate this way, and they're just following the loops to get up to speed. It actually takes so long for them to get up to speed, they'll only be doing about 150 when they come out of this loop. But you'll be able to see in a couple more loop-de-loops here that they'll come out absolutely nose to tail. There's no extra space for them, maybe another tile. Here they'll come out now, their braking distance will pass through the rest of the other train, and they move on upwards. We'll take a ride on this one as it comes around. Coal, especially 1-8 trains using coal, taking an exceptionally long time to get up to speed. That's why there's so much track with them moving back and forth and back and forth, is just so that they have a much longer time to accelerate. This takes them time, but when they get through, there'll be more of them on the track. Problem is, you only get one block. One block for your entire rail network. as you can see we're coming out we're doing about 150 right now and right behind the other trains and that is the coal train unchained <laughs>